Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and uh, it is cold. But since I'm out here, I'm gonna test out a knife. I'm gonna test out the Vengeful One, the JX5 uh, by Bark River, uh, it's CPM 3V. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So stay tuned. All right. So since you guys last saw this knife, uh, I changed the sheath. I made it a lot darker, and so I think it looks. A lot better. I didn't focus on the back as much, so the back isn't as pretty, but I really like that darker leather. But the knife is still the same. It's still CPM 3V. It's got the Tiger Stripe G10 handles. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. It's got that nice filler there. Uh, I'll leave the all the specs in the description box below the weight and all that this is a beautiful beautiful knife uh, i'm gonna get this on my belt show you guys what it looks like on there uh, and then i'll get to chopping some stuff so here we go all right so here it is on my belt now it's not a dangler so it doesn't go below so because it's so cold i have to keep my jacket over it otherwise i get this breeze right here so it'd be nice if this was a dangler in the colder months, but it's still easy to draw. It's not so bad putting back in. I did wear out that leather. It, when it came, uh, it was hard getting it in and out of that sheath because the lip of the handle would hit the leather and it would catch. But now that I've worn it out it does go in a lot easier so there it is on the hip it's not so bad you see me bending my knee it's not going to dig into the ground with me kneeling it's a good sheath to get you started uh, i do plan on upgrading eventually though so i'll keep you up to date on that as well the new sheath as soon as i can afford one and as soon as i decide what i'm going to get i'll let you guys know but uh let's get to chopping all right, so I am in a county park, so I'm not gonna be able to start fire today. But I am finding some dead fallen stuff that we can chop up. So I'm gonna start off with my wool gloves on. Now my wool gloves are really slippery. Uh, so we'll see how this G10 performs with that. Uh, so let's come over to the stump here and see how it works. All right, so everything out here is frozen. It's like negative six or seven degrees out. But well, let's just see how well this thing works. I'm gonna be down in the lowermost position. Holy moly. That works almost too good. I'm just gonna use the weight of the knife now on this last cut. And you can see it goes halfway through. And I'm just kind of lightly dropping it. And it's cutting through this frozen chunk of wood. This thing is awesome. This is a frozen chunk of wood and I'm getting really good penetration through there. So it's a frozen chunk. A wood there you can see that is cutting through it no problem and I haven't put that much force into using this knife yet all right so I found this bigger chunk here that I can just de limb Holy moly. it's hard because it's so brushy back here I can't get can't get a clear, my only clear working surface is right here. This is just cutting through it all. <laughs> this thing is awesome. In this backward position, it just makes cutting this stuff almost too easy. Yeah, 
god, this thing is awesome. All right, so let's let's get up here. Let's choke up and get in this forward neutral position. See how. See in this frontward neutral position, it feels it's so balanced. It feels like I'm using my uh, Genesis. It's a little heavier. It's a heavier knife, but uh, it's so balanced. Safety goggles. Yeah, I, everything out here is frozen, but it's still able to get shavings and little curls. I don't know if you're picking that up. It's hard with these gloves on too, but getting the gist. Oh yeah. The knife is so heavy that you're able to just kind of rest it on there and draw to get shavings. That's just from me setting the knife on and drawing. I'm not putting any pressure on it. thing is ridiculously sharp because that's a one thing that I try to focus on with a knife is how much work is the knife gonna do and how much work do I have to do if I could just set this on here and draw it and get those tiny little shavings with no effort from me that's a good sign when I choked up back here and I just let the weight of the knife fall uh, with little to no effort from me that's a good sign as well how much can this knife do on its own and how much does it need me to exert my energy into using it and the uh, answer is very little I mean I can just swing as hard as I can and just demolish wood but I'm gonna exert too many calories and I'm gonna get so tired so fast that I can't I won't be able to uh, keep going you know if I was building a shelter or if I was trying to start a fire and I get tired before the process is done it's not a good sign so if I can make the knife do the work uh, it saves me and it allows me to keep going you know I can process a lot more wood uh, I can get that fire started I can do a lot more tasks if the knife is doing more of the work than I am and this thing is awesome yeah, it's so thick here I can't find room to move but we'll get her figured out all right so I found a spot it's a little more open, not by much, but a little. So we're just gonna carve with this thing a little bit. Uh, the, walking around with this thing on my belt, the handle does dig in, the sheath kind of digs in to my side a little bit. Again, I'm not a fan of the sheath. I don't like the sheath. I don't like wearing it on my belt. I might try to find a dangler option uh, because that would eliminate all the issues I'm having and it does have two little holes to uh, rig up a dangler system so I might turn this leather sheath into a dangler till I can afford an upgrade but uh, let's just see how this thing 
carbs. I'm just gonna make small feathers. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. This thing works so well. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to use the weight of the knife to make these feathers. And uh it's working out really really well. I am applying a little bit of force because I do want them to curl, but I'm trying to let the knife do as much work as I possibly can. And uh, let's say that turned out really well. So yeah, it's, it's a great knife. The, chopping capabilities I love the carving capabilities are amazing that belly that up sweep for chopping because it has that belly to chop turns it into kind of a small hatchet but when I'm carving and I'm pulling it digs into that belly and it gives me some nice nice feathers yeah that's it's a nice feather stick right there it doesn't have big long curls but again i was trying to make the knife do all the work and uh i just been kind of playing around with this knife trying to get the feel for it and everything and i'm falling in love with this knife uh, I'm gonna make a tent peg quick just to show you guys that it does carve really well I've been using my wool gloves this whole time too I haven't once felt the need to take them off or felt like I was going to slip. And uh, mostly the G10 is slippery, but the ergonomics of this knife uh, really make it easy to feel comfortable working with this knife. Just like the BK9, the BK9, everybody complains about those slippery handles. But the ergonomics are what lock you in. This kind of has that same feel. So even with my slippery wool gloves on, I'm still able to feel comfortable. I don't think my hand's gonna slip. I don't think I'm gonna slip onto the blade at all. And uh, yeah. So we have a point and a notch. My camera's cold. You can tell it's getting a little glitchy. Like I said, it's like negative seven going down to negative 10. Uh, it is cold out today. But when it comes to carving out notches, it's, it's a very easy knife to use. Uh, the, the shocking thing about it is that it's so big but you go up into that neutral position and it feels just like like uh, any regular belt knife you know like my Genesis it's a little it's heavier than my Genesis but it's just as balanced and then you come back here into the rear position and you can just chop this thing it just chops like a monster and uh yeah, it's got that 90 degree spine. And so, let's see if I can. Yeah. Move bark. It's 
gonna give you that fluff. Can you see all that fluff? Gives you all that bark fluff. So it does have a nice sharp 90 degree spine. So you can strike a ferro rod with it. Again, I don't ever strike ferro rods with my 90 degree spine because the I like to save that edge for wood processing. But yeah, I I really enjoy this knife. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make a fire out here. I'm not on land that's permitted to do that. But this is a great knife. I do really enjoy it. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else I can do with it. I don't have room. This is a really thick, dense woods. But this is this is exactly why you would want something like this. I would never be able to swing an axe out here. In most of the area, swinging an axe just wouldn't happen. So to just be able to use a little wrist action to chop stuff up. I mean, I have quite a bit of stuff that I've been chopping. I've been chopping a lot. Uh, and it's it's held up great. Uh, I haven't had to worry about all the room. Uh, it feather sticks really well. Just try to whip something up quick here. I, uh, like I said, I can't start a fire, so I'm not gonna make a real pretty feather stick. But I will do it. Yeah, I mean, carves good, chops good. My first impressions of this knife is very, very good. All right, so I have worked with this knife. I've chopped. Uh, I've carved, I've done a lot with it, and I have to say that this is becoming one of my favorite knives that I own. Uh, it's chopping capabilities. Chris Tanner from Prepared My 101 designed this knife, and he's known for his chopping capabilities. He's, he loves those big choppers, and so I never had a doubt in my mind that it would be a great chopper. I don't think he would let it go into production if it didn't chop uh, as well as any other knife or better. And uh, so I knew it was gonna be a good chopper. The concern I had was how well it would do the finer tasks in this neutral position here. How well could it feather stick and do the smaller tasks? And uh, I have to say it does it really well. The balance of this knife, he found that sweet spot, he found somehow he found a way to make this knife feel like a small like this feels like my genesis it's a little bit heavier but with the balance it's almost the same and i can really do a lot of work with this knife without my hand getting tired because of that balance uh, and because of the weight of the blade i'm able to let the knife do most of the work and so i'm not exerting myself to get these tasks done uh, I'm simply just letting the knife do the work. I'm letting the weight of the blade do a lot of my small chopping. Uh, I'm letting the weight of the blade get those finer curls. And so, yeah, I, I really love this knife. So for my first impressions, that's what I was looking for. I knew it was going to be a great chopper, but how was it going to do with the fine tasks? And it does very well with the fine tasks. It's a beautiful knife. Uh, he designed a very good looking knife in my opinion. 
uh, but it performs just as well as it looks, if not better. And so I'm confident moving forward with future testings that this knife will hold up to whatever I put it through. Uh, I still want to get it out in baton and start fire with it. Uh, there's still a lot of tasks I want to put this knife through before I decide if it is my favorite or not. But I'm really confident that it can handle the job. So with that being said, make sure to leave your knowledge and any questions in that comment section. I want to know what you think of CPM3V. Uh, I know I asked that in my last video, but I didn't get a lot of comments on it and I would really like to get a lot of different opinions on what people think of this steel type. Uh, another question I have is what do you think of G10 on a large knife like this? I've seen a lot of mixed opinions and uh, I just want to get your guys' idea. What do you guys think of the G10 on a large chopper like this? Do you think it's too smooth or do you think it's perfect? Uh, let me know in that comment section then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most and as always don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday and I can't wait to see you on the next one thanks guys I really do love this knife yep I'm frozen